very posh. So we've just got back to the car after a little walk. Uh, car bells, nothing much. Really touristy, there's loads of tourists up there. Figured we, uh, I'd take the day off work just to come out and get a bit of exercise because I've been a bit stir crazy lately. Really need to get out of the house. So uh, the, uh, the girl and I have just uh, took a, a quick bimble over to Borodale where we've just banged in a quick walk. Just cat bells, nothing special. Let's filled in a few hours, but we've brought the tent as well, so we're just going to have a quick, uh, cheeky little wild camp over tonight. Uh, I think they're just pitching the tent somewhere along the Derwent River, uh, other side of um, Rosethwaite or Stonethwaite. I get, I get mixed up between the Thwaites. <laughs> Um, but it's somewhere that way, other side of Black Crag. So it's 10 to 4. We've just left the car at Stonethwaite and we're just heading down the valley. We're gonna wander, we're gonna wander through the campsite, the Stonethwaite campsite the other side, up the river a bit and there's a nice little spot I've always thought that's quite nice for a, for a little wild camp. I decided not to put my boots on just for comfort and because we're not coming very far and that might be a bit sick. It's a bit soggy. So just a uh, little further run up this path, we'll keep following the burn and uh, there's a nice little waterfall. It's not Black Moss Pot, I know what everyone's thinking of. That is along here if you carry on for another half an hour. But it's a little one, it's a little pot, a little waterfall. And that's uh, where I'm going to stick the tent. Jesus. I really regret not wearing the boots now. <laughs> Down this way. So, we're going to be camping bang beneath this big rock and it looks like the clouds are already drawing in we're in for a wet night so this is pretty much it a little waterfall I'm thinking of either sticking the tent here or or up there somewhere up there. Uh, I don't think there's much flat ground up there I think this is the flats we're going to find I always figured this would be a cracking spot to stick the tent well, it was all right. It's brilliant here. Brilliant. And this is February. <laughs> so that, that water's gonna be freezing cold. But I, I wanna come back in the summer, but you know what? Because I bet that'll be lush. Right, what's the time? It is, it's 10 to five. Probably about a half an hour's worth of sunlight there.
Sorry, a little tense up. Weather's drawing in, but at least we've got a cracking view here down the valley. It's quite noisy this place, but never mind, we'll get used to it. There's Sydney, the wild camping teddy. <laughs> and uh, beer bottles, stove. I think we'll be getting dinner on shortly. Cuz the light's beginning to fall low. Who's beer? She's already on the fifth bottle. Lies. Pitch black outside now, but I had a had a, a little look out just before it turned dark, and uh, there was some really really low cloud. Really awful weather coming in. You can never see the flame. You can see it. You can actually. You can see it. But you can't see it in daylight, all right? <laughs> <laughs> it looks a bit like a bit like dirty food, but. It doesn't actually smell too bad. It smells nice. Tinned potatoes are like the dogs. Bollocks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or is that Korean meatballs? That's an essential skill for any camper. <laughs> As you can see, it's heating up oh, lovely. That is quite... That's going now. And possibly a bit too much. It's not that's such a really good meal. <laughs> she approves. <laughs> oh, it's drizzling outside. I'll get the massive, powerful light and shine it outside. Yeah, you see it's drizzling. But it's been raining on off, on off, on off. And at the moment it's off, so we're going to try and pack up the tent and bugger off before it starts raining again. Oh, I'm just so cozy though. There we go. <laughs> An ugly morning, eh? And, uh, it's alright, I'm used to you. You're ugly. Uh, so, it didn't take long to pack the tent up. It was pretty wet though. <laughs> and I've gone and left the car key in the tent, in one of the pockets inside. Well, I don't know where the car key is now. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's in a tent pocket. Anyway, check all the rucksack pockets when we get back to the car and uh, if we can't find it, then we know it's in the tent. It's going to have to, going to, have to unpack the tent again. <laughs> She wore boots. <laughs> well, the times I bang on at people when I see them wearing trainers up for a hike. Well, if you can call this a hike. We've just lost the shelter of the trees now and it's quite windy. There's rain going about, yeah. Some of us are, cool. some of us are sensible and wear hiking boots and, <laughs> and fancy North Face rainproofs and stuff but not me. <laughs> I'd rather have windy rain at you and wet soggy trainers. <laughs> Ten past nine. Oh, it's gorgeous. I love the nice atmospheric weather you get here. So where is this place? Stonethwaite, I think it is. Seathwaite or Stonethwaite? Rosewaite, Rosewaite. No, it's Stonethwaite. I get mixed up between all the thwaites. There's loads of them. See, we went down that way, didn't we? Yeah. No, no, we did go past the pub. We did go past the pub. He finally found the keys. Got it. Stupid you, ass. Nightmare. It's alright, he would have had to go back and get them. Look for them. 